Hey friends, or should I say good morning? This video is of course a get ready with me video and I've partnered with Biosance to share my fresh face, no foundation look. So let's get right into it. First off, after a beautiful slumber reminiscent of Sleeping Beauty herself, I wake up flawless. Okay, fine, fine, I look a little closer to a clown. As a new mom, sleep is a bit of a stranger to me at times, so I may just dabble a little bit in some extra remedies, okay? These face patches are by CO Beauty and they just help me to look a little bit less wrinkled in the morning. Consider them an iron for your skin, if you will. So after removing that, I like to do a little bit of maintenance on the mouth. And now we'll get ready for the day. So I'm starting off with this super rich feeling moisturizer that Biosense has now come out with. I have mentioned Biosense in my skincare video and on my Instagram several times. Um, I use their oils a lot, but now they've finally come out with a thick moisturizer. When I say thick, it's not something that only people with extra dry skin like me can use. So you're not going to get that feeling of like that residue, sticky feeling where you know, you can no longer apply makeup and stuff and your face feels like it's kind of sweating from the product. It's not like that. Let's chat a little bit about this because I find it really fascinating. So if you didn't know this, because I didn't before, our bodies naturally produce a moisturizing molecule called squalane. And the older you get, like a lot of things in life, that starts to deplete a little bit. By the way, I don't know about you guys, but anything I do to my face in terms of moisturizing, I also carry down to my neck. I think that's important. So in the past, the only way to reproduce squalane was through unsustainable and unreliable sources. Without getting too long and drawn out, they actually rely on science to find sustainable ways to reproduce squalene, which I think is so fascinating and really cool. Biosan squalene is 100% plant derived and it actually comes from sugarcane in Brazil. This is what they pride themselves on, plant derived products, sustainability and clean products as well. So Biosan is pretty much taking the lead from nature and then kicking it up a notch with science. And I think they have a brilliant tagline that really explains what they're all about. Biology by nature, human by design. This new product is called the Squalene and Omega Repair Cream and it nourishes and restores skin moisture barrier. So definitely check it out. And I have a 15% off code for you below, especially as a new mom. And honestly, even with my personality, I've never been the type to want to go and have things done for me. I like to do everything myself. I'm such a DIY girl. I never go to the spa. I never go and get pedicures done. So for me, investing in nice skincare is now my sort of way to treat myself and do it at home. And also to keep my skin looking fresh. I am in my 30s now. And so the reality is your skin starts to get a little bit less plump. Your wrinkles start setting in. And I'm just not the type to really go and get like Botox or anything or fillers. So I'd rather invest my money into great products, great skincare. I'm just going to do eyebrows now. I just picked up this CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow Micro Fine and Define Pencil Crayon. I got this at Target. Um, and I'm pretty impressed so far. I got the color soft brown. I think one of the mistakes that I tend to make is, you know, I will see like deep brown or something and I'm thinking, okay, yeah, I think it's better to go light. I was build. And when I say build, I don't even mean with the pencil strokes, but the brown mascara or even a little bit of powder afterwards, it adds a bit of dimension and looks more realistic. Because a lot of times I used to have what my husband used to call my my angry brows it's like they're just way too dark and dramatic and they almost look a little disney villainish husbands and children tend to keep it real i mean my son's not at the age yet to tell me what's up but my husband pretty honest I remember the first time i tried to contour my nose i walk out of the bathroom thinking yeah i got this he literally looked at me and was like, Sharm, you have something on your nose. You have like this brown thing on your nose. I was like, it's called beauty. That's what's on my nose. Google it. And then I'm going to set the brows with the Glossier Boy Brow in brown. It's just brown, yeah. I 
little bit of eyeshadow primer by Urban Decay. I like to put this on even when I'm not wearing eyeshadow. Hear me out. To me, it just makes my eyelids look less sweaty or greasy in the day. Now I'm gonna use this little trio I love from Fenty Beauty. It is their Matchsticks Trio, and I have the colors Mocha, which is like a contour, Bamboo, which is a little bit like a concealer or highlight, and Trippin, which is definitely like a highlight. Kind of like a highlight slash blush slash eyeshadow. Um, that's what I like about them. They're so interchangeable in a way. A little bit of like a rose gold peachy look which is kind of my favorite. Even in the fall, I don't care, I'm gonna be using this. I'm gonna use a little bit of liner. This is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and Dagger. Um, I am not going to even pretend I can like look at you and do this. I'm gonna be looking in the mirror. Confession, when I was a teenager, I used to use black Crayola marker as an eyeliner because at the time they didn't have felt tip and to me, I thought it was like a cool idea to do that and I'm like, oh, it's non-toxic. Um, the precision is there. I never really told anyone I did this, but I used to do that. So much easier when you have um, the felt tip that's almost like a little marker to put on your eyeliner, in my opinion. That's why I think I'm such a, you know, I'm a very DIY girl, but I'm so impressed by innovative brands. And this is all across the board, whether it's cosmetic industry, fashion industry, I'm, I'm all about innovation. Um, I think it's, you know, inspiring to see people come up with things to make things easier or more productive or more effective. Now I'm going to use Maybelline, the Colossal Big Shot Volume Mascara. I think I've mentioned many times I'm not super picky when it comes to mascara. My lashes are pretty long and curly naturally. They are getting... You know, a little more sparse as I got older, that's just reality. But um, mascara goes a long way for me, like a little goes a long way, so I'm not super picky. I'm just going to finish up with my favorite lip liner of all time. I always talk about how much I love it. It's from Annabelle Cosmetics. It, this is a color called Spice. And add a little bit of the gloss. That is it. Now I'm going to take this off and hope that I can just work with this hair. Having such a great hair day last night that I did not want to rewash it and then have to wait for a great results again at night, which is so annoying. Curly girls, you understand. So I'm just hoping, yeah, it's looking pretty good, guys. And this is my final fresh face dewy look using Biosans Omega Repair Cream as my base. Heading into the colder months, I'll be relying on all the good omega fats in this hydrating moisturizer to restore my skin's moisture barrier. Again, I have a discount code for you below at 15% off. And thank you for Biosans for collaborating and keeping my skin looking so radiant. And thank you guys for watching. As usual, I will see you in the next video.